from Gypsies Vegetables at Port Stephens. You want to have a water blaster that can operate without too much power requirement. I'm gonna be alright, I've been caught in time. I want you to know that I love you. Going from exuberance to rehab. Yeah. Today it's blowing a gale. My friend, the skies are bright. I see orange light. I want you to know that I'm This is Jim, engineer and yachtsman. I'm Adriana, Brazilian by birth and an author. And of course, this is Lucy, a cocker spaniel poodle cross, mascot of our boat, Kikamalu, a 42 foot swanson. Our dream to sail where the wind blows. Last time I showed you how to treat a common sailing injury and we did some maintenance on the gunnels. You look outside and give her your It's just another What is it, Lucy? Are you hungry? <coughs> you want breakfast? <coughs> okay, right now. <coughs> We're on our way to our regular Sunday outing. Well, the great outing these days is uh, once a week on Sunday morning, we uh, go into town and get a takeaway coffee. We get some takeaway breakfast. And then we go to the Gypsies, which is a roadside uh, veggie stall, and we buy our weekly vegetables, and that's a really big outing at the moment. We really enjoy it. <laughs> Everybody gets really excited. <laughs> it goes to show you. You just need the truck. So we got coffee and toilet paper. What a top Sunday morning. <laughs> you know. If you dare feels to learn, you just need a tiny sound to can make the handless house go by. What do you have to eat? Bacon and egg roll with homemade tomato relish. That's our Sunday breakfast. It's a fine dining moment. And I know a song, just a quick fix. The secret sauce in your mix. If you don't believe me, listen to the song. That's a bit about the business here. Started off, I actually learned a little bit more about it this morning. I asked the farmer, I think it was his mother in law had grown some stuff and sold it out of the front yard and kind of evolved from there. My mum, she's been working with him for about 20 of those years and I pretty much grew up here sort of sitting yeah. on the yeah. back bench yeah. like, playing with tomatoes when <laughs> I was a little kid. Very well, very well, yeah. Oh, what did you want to know? Um, so when did you start doing that? Um, in 2008. Yeah. I started up um, studying millinery and um, fashion design and technology. Fantastic. It was a beautiful afternoon, the sun was golden, the breeze cool, the water sparkling and warm. It was so romantic. I felt alive. Full of the joy of being outdoors after a day inside, I just wanted to jump for joy. It was so perfect. Until I pulled a muscle in my calf. Oh yes, it hurt. Lucy wasn't at all perturbed. In fact, 
She looked quite excited. But Jim's face says it all. Next time you go to the beach for a run and a jump, do some stretching. You're going from exuberance to rehab. Long overdue. How long since we used the dinghy? Probably five months. Not good. This is called Water Blaster. What a blaster. What a blaster. Careful that you don't damage the. Um... Yeah, it's not a very strong gurney. Like it's purposely bought the smallest pressure one that there is. Right. So you still got to be careful. Yeah. Like as you can see, I'm I'm not getting the jet on my hand, but if it did go on my hand, it wouldn't be a disaster. Yeah. Because it's a very low powered machine. But some water blasters, you'd never put your hand or foot anywhere near it because it'd just cut through it. So we're not dealing with that sort of pressure. It's also important to get a water blaster that can draw water out of the sea, as some types don't. So you want to have a water blaster that can operate without too much power requirement on a boat. So, you know, 1200, 1300 watts is quite easy to get an inverter to do that and it doesn't drain the batteries. The only sort of maintenance item um, with this particular brand, and most of them, is occasionally the uh, valves have a little problem, okay. in which case you need to replace the valve or just fix it. Yeah. Often they get stuck in one position or something. What are you doing there, Luke? What are you doing there? So every couple of years I just give it a light clean with the water blaster and then some of the oxalic acid, the teak brightener, yeah. and that's sort of is good enough. Because um, you can't brush it across the grain, so there's no point. So this is just the next best thing. We're not supposed to be boating unless we're fishing or doing maintenance. But Lizzie and I just couldn't resist jumping in with Jim while he checks the outboard. I don't think I've ever seen Lucy so excited. And to think that when she was a puppy, she used to be scared of the dinghy. 
Well, now she owns it. It was a good thing we checked out the outboard because the steering support bracket was corroded and needs to be fixed. Oh, sorry, sorry to you. That's mercy. <laughs> I've been training Lucy's memory, and this is her favorite game. Where's Mr. Red going? He's going in the naughty corner. Okay, are you ready? Donkey, go get donkey. Naughty donkey, quick, 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 quick. The game began earlier with her tidying up her toys, remembering their names. This is where this part begins, where I see how many toys it takes before she forgets where Mr. Red is. She can basically play this game until she fetches all 21 toys. And she could probably do more, but we'll leave it at that for now. Where's Mr. Red? Mr. Red, good girl. <laughs> Well done, Lucy! Well done, Lucy! It's official. Our Indian summer is over and the weather has turned cool again. We were supposed to be in the wet Sundays by now. We weren't going to have any winter at all this year. But I have to say, I'm enjoying the cooler weather. No more flies, no mosquitoes. The boat is cosy, which you can't change. You have to enjoy. Today it's blowing a gale. It feels like we're living in a world of paradoxes at the moment. Nothing seems to change, but nature is changing all around us. I'm gonna be all right. I've been caught in time. I want you to know that I love In my books, my characters have a goal at the beginning of the story. And there really wouldn't be a story if those goals were easily achievable. My friend, the skies are bright. I see orange light. I want you to know that I love you so. Like Homer's Odysseus, who sails out to sea to have grand adventures, characters have to have obstacles and setbacks to overcome. And through overcoming, they change. And so do their goals. Perhaps when we've overcome this setback, our goals too will change. For now, there's no point in being like this bird, trying to fly against a 40 knot wind. You're bound to fail. And it's exhausting. Much better to let the wind take you where it will. You know, it's probably where you're meant to be anyway. My friend, the skies are bright. I see orange light. I want you to know that I love you so. And I feel
to make sure that we're not wearing them out. Thank you so much for watching and if you like our videos and you haven't subscribed you can press the subscription button and follow that with the little bell so you can be notified every time we bring out a new one I'm gonna roll, roll, roll down the river. a huge thank you to our patrons for their support you can be a patron for as little as two dollars and you would be amazed at how much that helps us so if you're interested in becoming a patron just follow the link in the description below. Stay well, stay safe, and keep your tail wagging.